Welcome back to Dilly Squat Gaming. Today we are in the quarry in Tamir, Russia. So this is our first and official attempt at uh, taming this wild quarry. So uh, today we're basically going to focus on finding all of the watchtowers, uh, but probably not <laughs> just because there are six of them. So we're going to try to get as many as we can. So let's get this truck fired up and let's uh, head off. And let's see, uh, let's check this place out. Let's see how uh, how complicated and difficult it may be. Uh, so right away we have a, a path that kind of goes off to nowhere. Kind of kind of going to guess that there might be a upgrade in that swamp. Uh, it doesn't really like, doesn't really seem to go anywhere so let's let's focus on the main trail uh, I have a feeling this is all kind of water going up the middle um, okay <laughs> there are two giant trees in our way I don't know can I winch off of them can't really winch them out of the way I it's, it's clear I can't just... Oh, I guess I can semi roll over them. <laughs> Doing that in the uh, the semi might be a little bit harder, but you know what? We can go around. There's a little mud path there. There's a mud path there. There's there seems to be a ton of different trails that we can take. Better options here versus there. So, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna say that I've never been on this map. I've I have been in Russia. Uh, but I basically was here to grab, I think it was this vehicle and another vehicle, so I do not remember anything about this map whatsoever. Uh, we've got a tractor that is drowning in a small little pond that used to be a, the road. Um, who knows how that got there? Maybe, maybe it was a, uh, a detonation device that went off. Um, because that's kind of what it looks like. Uh, maybe World War II? I, I, I don't know. Who knows? Why is there a giant hole in the road filled with water? And why is there a tractor in the middle of it? Seems kind of silly for someone just to drive into that and, uh, and not see it. Because it's not like it's small. So, uh, is, is it possible it was a sinkhole? Maybe. But, uh, yeah, I kind of highly doubt that, but doesn't look like we need to actually remove the tractor. So that's, I guess, a bonus. <laughs> Let's work. We need to do the better, right? All right. Let's see. Let's find out. Where are we? Where we're getting? Yeah, we're getting close to the first watchtower. So actually, let me mark this. Um, and I'm going to say, assume that we're going to have to pass that. Uh, because that looks extremely thick through there, so uh, unless we have a motorcycle or a dirt bike or we walk it on foot, yeah, we're gonna have to go around. So uh, definitely, this map is a lot of mud. So the progress through here is going to be absolutely slow. Uh, it's going to be a, a snail space. So also, uh, yeah, I might as well throw this out there. I'm hoping the microphone settings are still working fine because, of course, Windows updated again. And I held off for about a month, I think. And then finally, I just was like, all right, let's let's do this. Let's update it. And well, yeah, I, uh, of course, went to start this episode and the mic didn't work, so I had to do a couple restarts and uh, close down OBS and get that uh, fired back up. And it seems to have fixed things. The, the nice part about this update is that it didn't change my default microphone, which was nice, but I still had to obviously went there and checked first. So, but uh, hopefully it sounds okay. It seems to be uh, working in OBS correctly. I did do a little mini test 
of it and it seemed to be working fine so you know what we're gonna go with it so let me know in the comments if it uh, sounds any different than it did in the last episode and uh, yeah hopefully hopefully it's uh, working fine all right, so now that we're in an odd, <laughs> we're on a we're on a very odd, windy road. Very beautiful map, like it's very dense forest through here. So there is no taking shortcuts like we did on uh, the map before. I'm drawing a blank, and I can't believe it. The drowned lands, jeez. Oh, that's so sad. So it looks like we are going to have to come up here. We're going to have to come around and then we're going to have to probably follow this road around like that just to get to this watchtower or so. But I'm going directly to it so we're just going to have to we're just going to have to take the long routes. There are no shortcuts. We probably want to bring that tanker with us. Uh, with the next large truck that we bring, which will probably be the Azov. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll bring the, uh, the dairy just to have it as a backup truck. But yeah, we're definitely, probably, definitely going to need to bring our own fuel. But soon, once we get to this, uh, this first lighthouse, not lighthouse, geez. I knew I was going to do that sooner or later. Uh, I'm always prince, mis mispronouncing things. Uh, but once we get to the first watchtower, we'll, we'll hopefully find out if there is a trailer store or a garage. Um, there may be an option where we can rebuild the garage. It might not start with one. This almost looks like farmland. So this may have something to do with farming. I don't, I don't really know when farming kicks in. Uh, I don't, yeah, I've never, I've never really played around with it at all. So it will be interesting to see, do we farm in Russia or is it, do we come? Oh man, I took the wrong route. All right, well, you know what, we'll just do this. But yeah, I, I don't, I don't know when we actually start farming or having to do farming missions, so. I don't even know what that entails, uh, but it should be a blast because we do farming in uh, farming simulator. So I think uh, I think we might have a heads or uh, yeah a heads up or uh, a hand up, <laughs> as you would would probably say it. And uh, yeah, I guess that's uh, something we'll find out sooner or later. I wouldn't mind giving the uh, the farming a, a, a you know go because it's it would be slightly different than what we're used to doing in SnowRunner and you know that's kind of the what keeps it uh, fun and interesting and fresh and new uh, when you're when you're doing these treks and the, the cargo missions and it's just the same thing over and over again it can get a little repetitive. Um, I still enjoy doing these watchtowers. I, I think it's a pivotal part of the game. Uh, unlocking the map and whatnot, so. Alright, let's see here. We found oil sampling, so we definitely, we got an upgrade. What else did we get? A new objective. Yep, that's oil sampling. That's the one I saw pop up above the handbrake. And that looks like about it, so. Let's go into the little scene and overlook the town of whatever town the quarry is in. Oops. Alright, so I was wrong about the upgrade in this area. There also doesn't seem to be a vehicle. Yeah, I don't see a vehicle or anything. So this is probably empty. Uh, where's this upgrade that it said? Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, all right, not too bad. So uh, yeah, the water doesn't go all the way up like I thought it would. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna drive all the way back. This is this is probably why we're not going to be able to get 
every single watchtower in this episode, which, you know, I'm okay with. If we get to half of it, if we get to three of them, I'll be alright with that. Uh, we didn't find a trailer store at all, so... Fortunately, there's there's no chance of getting like a scout trailer for fuel. Uh, but we do have, I believe we have another 11 gallons or so on this. Maybe it's 22 gallons. I honestly don't remember. Uh, let's let's double check real quick since we're here. Uh, yeah, we, well, no, we got another 32. So we got a full tank of gas here on top of the vehicle. So we're burning about a gallon a minute so we're actually under a gallon a little bit over so yeah we'll say a gallon a minute so we this gives us almost an hour of driving oh i almost rolled it there that was that was definitely a pucker moment <laughs> i need to come up with a little i need to i need to look into one of those little uh, I don't know what they are. They're just like the little boxes that have like four or five different buttons and that I can find out some type of like puckering sound that I can smack and then it plays it so that, you know, it livens up the uh, broadcast a little bit. But I don't know what those are called. If you guys know, let me know. And uh, yeah, let me know um, how much do they run. If they're not too bad, I might pick one up because, you know, that would be kind of cool to do kind of like the the puck, pucker moments. And I, I'm not really sure how I would do it if it's literally like makes your butt clench moment or if you just make a like a puckering like smooching sound. Uh, something like that. I don't know. I'm just thinking of things to make uh, make the videos a little bit more entertaining. Oh, uh, apparently we just glitched through the uh, whatever this is, log cabin. Alright, so let's uh, now that we're actually back out this way. Yeah, I guess, you know what? I'm going to want to jump across here. And try to, uh, try to make our way towards that watchtower. So, yeah. And this is all lumber. There is a trailer there. But I don't believe it has any fuel. Does it show up on the map? does show up on the map. So we got two trailers there. So we really don't even need to bring a sideboard. There's our fuel. So if we don't need this fuel for a mission, we could use that fuel. So that might not be a bad... That might not be bad to bring it out maybe here. We'll have to see once we unlock all of the wash towers to see where the best part is to drop that off because I got a feeling we're going to need it. I, I got a feeling this map is probably aimed to be one of the harder maps. Um, but we, we still have two more maps that we haven't seen so those ones may be even harder. But it definitely, seem, it definitely seems like the developers have made this uh, made the maps harder as you go through them so which you know what that makes sense right because we're getting better at snow runner we're getting better vehicles so of course the maps are only going to get harder and it those and that has that kind of has always plagued me since like diablo 2 right um because i didn't really i mean i kind of dabbled in diablo 1 but i didn't really get into it um, actually, you know what? I kind of want to get into Diablo 2 Resurrected. Uh, because I love that game. And I, I'm not, I'm not a hardcore, you know, like, uh, what's his face? Um, Raker. And then there's another one, SC Llama. Uh, I remember those guys. I watched those guys like crazy thinking, oh my god, how do you know this much about a game? <laughs> and, uh, but anyways long story short uh but i wouldn't mind doing a kind of long-term video on playing diablo but anyways the whole story is is that you know you play through diablo once and then you go to the next harder mode 
and you get better items, but yet the characters or the the challenges get harder. And so it was it was kind of weird because it's like, well, it's just as hard as it was when I had crappier equipment, <laughs> but now that I have better swords or better gear, then it's it's easier to kill things. But then the the, the difficulty gets harder, so it kind of balances itself out, right? So. Um, but it's still a lot of fun to be to be playing. So, uh, looks like we've got another upgrade, and we've got a couple more tasks that we found. Um, I haven't. You know what? I guess I could have gone to that one. I'm not. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of task in this uh, this area. Uh, in fact, if we go into that mission and then go to the quarry. Um, yeah, there isn't really a lot. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that eight? Nine. There's nine tasks in this whole quarry. So uh, this map may be more for doing the uh, the missions. And so, yeah, we'll have to, uh, we'll have to break that down pretty quick because, yeah, to do nine tasks, I mean, I usually do at least one to two tasks an episode, if not, uh, possibly three, depending how easy they are. Um, but yeah, I mean, this, this land, this map seems pretty wild. Like, we haven't come across a single paved road. Uh, the roads we have come across have just been dirt we are definitely going to need our mud tires and we're definitely going to need our vehicles maybe maybe i'll bring the mkz or the mk38 sorry not the mkz that's i was like isn't that a buick <laughs> anyways or a lincoln something like that it's a lincoln mkz um maybe i'll bring the uh the mk 38 with its flotation tires and see if that works uh, in the mud at all as well. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot for broke. We're gonna come up here and we're gonna go this way. I you know we could go this way, but who knows which way these roads go? So let's go. I got a feeling this road probably curls up this way and maybe we'll get uh, lucky. And if not, then yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be just exploring by road. <laughs> I would like to find a source of fuel if I could. That would be convenient. I don't see. I don't see anything here. We've got a logging trailer. We got something that looks like a fuel trailer, but I don't think it is. We can go check it real quick. And I am stuck on the railroad. Look at me go. I'm full tilt to the left and I can't get off the railroad. Oh, at least I could get off that way. Uh, we'll just run through these boxes. Why not? Take out this picnic table. Nobody was using it anyways, right? Really? Seriously? I can't go over a basic picnic table. Ramming speed. <laughs> oh boy, this is this might just tell you how uh, tough this map is. All right, let's just go for it. We have wasted a gallon looking to see if uh, I don't think that is a fuel tanker of any sort. Uh, but we do have logs and we do have lumber here, so let's um. Yeah, let's make our way up the uh, the trail there and see if we can get to this watchtower. <clears throat> I'm hoping the road turns back on itself once it gets over that cliff face. Uh, we do have something over here though. Let's go check that out real quick because the uh, this railroad cart is kind of in the way blocking it. So maybe we get lucky. Is it? No, it's not an upgrade. Is it? It's a tunnel. 
Ah, uh, you know what it is? Yeah, it's going back to the drown line, so... I don't know why they decided to do... The train land... land or the train line... The train... Line. That's what I was trying to say. The tram line. Uh, I don't know why they didn't... Why they did the tr uh, the railroad through there, because... As far as I know, we can't use trains in this game, so... There's really no point to... I don't know, it just doesn't really make sense. Unless we can hire a train for something. Uh, that would be very different than anything else we've done in SnowRunner, but... I don't know. Anyways. Uh, where's our watchtower? Our watchtower's right there. So yeah, we're gonna take this first road here. Uh, I'm gonna assume it's that one? I mean, I'm almost tempted just to go up that way anyways. This is, this is, uh, really close to expeditions. Who needs roads? Um, I do, I do, I do. Uh-oh. How did I just roll that? I can't reach anything? Oh, ho, 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 ho. We got lucky there, guys. Like, we got lucky there. Come on. Oh, come on. Really? Alright, let's see if we can't. Come on. At least roll me over. I don't even have any steering right now. Those are the only two parts that I can attach to. That one just got ripped out. Uh, we might be in trouble. I'm hoping this can drag me just slightly close enough. Come on. Ah, oh, I was hoping to get close enough to another tree. What if I do this? Attach to the front there. Will it rotate me? Come on. Nope, it just brought me closer. I can't believe this. Alright, well we are... We are unfortunately dead in the water right now. We can't do anything. Oh, I got cocky. Alright, let's see here. Let's head back to... Let's head back to the Drown Lands. Do we have a vehicle that's close to a... Oh, that Azov is there, but to get to that train is a nightmare. That's all we have. Everything else is a long, long, long ways away. Alright, well, I, I guess the Azov to the rescue. Maybe now would be a good time to bring the MK across? Um... Yeah, because this I can just recover. I have no need to leave this in the wild. So let's go ahead and recover this. And... I'm going to bring out a truck that we have not... Let's actually retain this. We have not used this truck in quite some time. But the good old... Uh, you know what? 16, which one? Which one's better? Which one's better? Uh, we're going to do this one. We're going to bring this out of 
quote unquote retirement, <laughs> we are going to customize it. We I guess it's yeah. We already have the best engine in it. We don't have the balance. I think the balance is the one that comes in it originally. The high range is for speed. I guess we'll keep the off-road. We have the active suspension. Uh, we could go... And I'm thinking, because of the mud that we have... Are these the flotation tires that I was thinking of? No. Please tell me those aren't the flotation tires I was thinking of. There they are. 51 inch mud tires. I think that's... Yeah, the only option we have. So let's go with these. These look like they'd be pretty good. Uh, so let's, I guess, purchase this because apparently I used them on the other truck. Uh, obviously, we've got the... Oh, we don't have the... I don't know. The advanced medium. Yeah, let's go with that one. Let's sell this one. So we got the better winch on this. We've got the spare wheel. We've got the good snorkel. We've got a low low saddle, which I I you know what I think the low saddle works. We can work with that. And uh, actually, let's go into customize. Don't think there's anything we can do. Yeah, I guess we'll just keep that the way it is. Yeah, we'll keep all that the same. I still like the muzzle. And the rims, man, the rims are rims, so. Uh, we got a new paint job. Yeah, let's, let's give this a new paint job. I'm thinking... Yeah, I'm thinking Russian military. That that only seems to be what makes sense. So, all right, let's leave the garage. Let's uh, skip to morning because obviously, who wants to leave at night? And we got a long trail back, so let's let's uh, get this vehicle moving. We gotta remember though, this is a very tippy vehicle. <laughs> I guess is the best way to, to say it. It's going to absolutely probably flip over at any chance it gets, but okay, we've got speed on our side, which is how we got into this accident in the first place. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that tanker with me. Because if that tanker is basically at that gate or just on the other side of the gates, we should be good. Uh, the other thing I can look for actually too is I'll look for it when I get to the tanker is I'll stop. I'm going to see if we go through a different port to see where we come out in the quarry just to see can we be closer than what we were. Um, I just took a lot of damage there because I am hauling ass right now. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be broken before we even get over there. Like my suspension, my suspension is already yeah. Look, just randomly, I didn't even hit anything. I get it when I bounce off a rock. I get that. Like I didn't hit anything there either. Ay. It's a little annoying. It's a little annoying when they when it does that. But let's uh let's bring this trailer with us. And uh because I know this this truck is very very thirsty. Um So we went originally through I think it was this gateway. This is the train gateway that we found, so we could go through that gateway. Uh, let's 
let's take a look at the quarry map. And it's a 50-50 chance. It really truly is. So um Yeah, you know what? Let's let's do it. Let's go through this quarry. Or this uh yeah, this this gateway to the quarry. We should be should be pretty simple for this truck to get through most of that stuff. I may want to bring a repair truck as well. <laughs> Just because of the uh, the damage that this truck takes. For pretty much no apparent reason except for speed. Because right now speed is what's killing this truck. And maybe some of my driving. Actually a lot of my driving. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess we can just follow the road around. It is, it is nice. I'm not going to lie. It is nice having the speed of this truck. But yeah, so I guess when I bring the uh, Azov across, we'll bring it across as a repair vehicle. That might not be a bad idea come on truck you can do it we'll just do what they do and um oh, i forgot what it's called the semi trailer where they pull they pull those sleds and it's usually like these modified tractors or heavy duty semis. And they just they just mat the floor. I think it's like modified alcohol tractor pulling or something. I don't remember exactly what it was. But they just floor it and go until they can't go anymore. Which is crazy. I never understood how that thing ends up stopping. Like I know the weight. I'm assuming what it is is the weight that slides forward and that digs the trailer into the ground and then obviously they can't pull it so but yeah anyways I always I always remember watching that as a kid because I thought it was fun but never really understood how it all worked but that's okay I don't really need to <laughs> if you feel like explaining that to me go ahead and do it in the comments I'll read it give me a thumbs up as long as you tell me it's correctly, the correct way that they do it. If you tell me it's magic or something, I'll, uh, I probably won't give you, actually I, I will, I'll, I'll give you a thumbs up anyways. Maybe a little heart emoji. <clears throat> Alright, so now that we got through that mess, which wasn't too bad, I really don't know if these tires are better. I, I would assume that they may be marginally better if anything, or there may be a tire that's marginally better than them. But you know what? I like the way it looks in Russia, so I like these tires. They actually kind of remind me of the uh, of the Sherpas that uh, I believe is a Russian vehicle where it's just massive, massive amounts of... Well, in fact, the entire vehicle is just four tires. <laughs> they float in water, they can paddle through water, so they, they, you just motor through it really slowly. They go through pretty much any dirt on any terrain. They'll go over any obstacle, whether they're trees on the ground or not. They're pretty, uh, they're pretty intense and, uh, well, they're pretty expensive too, because I looked into, there's a, there's a place down the road, uh, I say down the road, it's about 45 minutes away. The place that sells them and I want to say they were a hundred and twenty five thousand <laughs> brand new and I was like oh man where's the where's the one from the 70s that I could get for like twenty thousand even though I couldn't really afford that it would still be a blast to have <laughs> anyway so we're we're almost to the quarry so this is the uh this is the big guess of where do we come out Hopefully, hopefully we're at the top of the map and we can work our way down. If not, maybe we'll, uh, yeah, we'll just, 
we'll figure out where this tanker goes. And yay, I was right. Woohoo, look at that. I was actually right about something. We are almost right on top of where we need to be. So I might leave the tanker there. Does that make sense? We have... I don't know. We have a tanker in here. But I have a feeling that this is going to be... I've already forgotten where it is. Maybe it's down here. Yeah, there it is. Uh, so there's a repair trailer here. There's a tanker here. There's a low saddle here. Um, so yeah, maybe we'll leave the tanker up here towards the north of the map. And then we'll bring... We'll bring this one out here somewhere for this side of the map. I don't, I don't know. Maybe we won't need either either one because we'll find a gas station <laughs> right in the middle. Who knows, but we are two tenths of a mile away, so... Um, how do we want to do this? I, that's kind of weird. I bet you that's a fuel station there. In fact, I guarantee you this is a fuel station. I guarantee you so much that I am just going to... We're going to drive up through it. I really hope it's a repair shop. That would be even better. Um, it is definitely fuel. There's definitely a tanker here. Uh, and we definitely can pick up fuel. And yeah, I did not need to bring this trailer with me. So yeah, well, you know what? Because there's a fuel trailer there. Although, did that already give me points? Did we? Did I get points for this trailer? I feel like I'm close enough to it. If I don't, it's yeah. This trailer is for a mission, and unfortunately, you can't switch out. Like I can't use the trailer I have now for the mission. It has to be that trailer. So that one's gonna stay. Did I just see something in these woods? I feel like I just saw something in these woods. Eh. I'm seeing stuff. What can I say? Alright, so... My thought is... To not crash. <laughs> uh, but yeah, definitely to... Uh, we're gonna leave this tanker here. Let's detach the trailer. We're gonna just go straight through these woods. Oops. Thought I could. I thought I could do it. I can't. All right. I'm, we're, we're almost getting to the point where my scouts are useless. Um, and I say that because... My my larger trucks are almost or better than the scouts are. The only positive that I get from the scouts are that you have the autonomous from Wench. Uh, so let's stop this engine and change trucks. And I'm going to refuel from it. No, oh, I don't want to recover. Yeah, there we go. I want to refuel from it. Just because that gives us a full tank. We're good to go. We can slap our all-wheel drive back on. We can try to figure out a way up this cliff to get to the watchtower. And I think we're going to have to go this way. I mean, I can attempt to squeeze through here, but I don't, I don't really know. I'm going to throw her in low so we go nice and slow. Let's see how good this vehicle is. Ooh, come on. Come on. There we go. Get some. Yes. Oh. Awesome. All right. I believe that is our third watchtower. 
All right, well, I hope you guys learned what not to do. Let's see, did we get a upgrade at all? Doesn't look like it. I don't know why it's saying that that's a, why is that an exclamation? Okay, well, whatever. It's an exclamation. I'm not really sure why. Uh, there is an upgrade way over here. I believe we've already uh, up shown that one, or, or uh, yeah, whatchamacallit it. So, uh, yeah, you know what? We got time. I think we can go for that one. And I think it's going to be the same deal where we... Uh, where we just kind of make our own path to it. Uh, but we aren't cutting down there anytime soon because that's a that's a sheer cliff face. Oh man, that that <laughs> that really bugs me that I rolled this thing right as we got to no trees. Like this map is as densely populated with trees as any map we've seen. <clears throat> and then I just up and roll it right as we are in the middle of nowhere <laughs> with, with trees. So this is just rock city. So this is fun. Making it a little little difficult to drive through here but again the scout's not taking any jam damage which is a good thing that's that's where they kind of are up and above the the semis and the the dairies and the azoths and the the mk i feel like the mk is a little on the weak side but it's a pretty strong beginner's truck so um i'm okay with it being a little bit on the weaker side as far as taking damage at air speeds on tougher maps. Um, I'm just gonna try to weasel my way through here. We're gonna just take out every small tree we can. Uh, we've got a rock base here. I don't think I'm getting up any of these anytime soon. Uh, there is that. Well, maybe I can squeeze my way up there. I need those grippy tires. Come on. Oh, I don't know what I just attached to, but it helped. All right, cool. Awesome, awesome. And... Oh, oh, oh. So close. Yeah, we should, we should be good. Bust through the fence. And yeah, we got a watchtower where it has been completely abandoned for years because nobody's lived in that hut forever. <laughs> there you go, you got a nice view of the quarry. So it's about the same size as the quarry in Michigan. Let's see, no upgrade again, huh? No, no, there's one right there. Why didn't it tell me? Well, you know what, guys? Let's, uh... Oh! I got a truck! I got a truck! I found a truck! Uh, let's go for the upgrade. Do I want to go for the truck or the upgrade? You know what? Let's go for the upgrade. And, uh... If we make it to the upgrade and I have less than... If I still have ten minutes or more left, we are, we are just going to go for the truck. Uh, yep, I knew that was going to happen. It's fine. It's fine. We are surrounded by trees. And again, and again, we have tree galore, but no good way to roll us over. Okay. I got this one. We're just going to roll ourselves this way. Come on, tree. 
Roll me over. Oh. Almost. Come on, start up. There you go. Dude, that's how you do it. Okay, so now we gotta ease our way out of this mess. But at least we have a vehicle that's running. And this should go... Yeah, I don't know. We're just gonna gun it off this cliff. Cool. You know what? We at least got the upgrade. Uh, we got a tune custom suspension for the TUZ-166, which I think is that little tiny car that we just tucked away. Uh, so yeah, let's attach our winch to there maybe? Yeah, that should, that should do it. Come on. There we go. Alright, you know what? We've got plenty of time left. Let's try to get to a road. Right now, we are in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna head on off in this direction. We're gonna try to find a road. We've got a stream. That's not quite a road. I mean, I guess that's nature's road, right? A river or a stream. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Look at that. that. That's a huge epiphany. <laughs> a lot of people didn't realize that, but yeah. A stream or a river or a creek or a... Uh, uh, I'm running out of words for paths of water. Uh, yeah. Those are all nature's roads. Alright, so we should be... Should be coming up on a truck pretty soon. As long as I'm, yep, going in the right direction. I knew it. Uh, oh, look at this. Look at this high-tech guardrail that they put in. That's amazing. Such a good safety barrier. I'm glad they did that. I might have gone off the cliff if I didn't have that. I'm kidding, of course. I don't know why it's there, but it's just a little wooden fence. All right, so yeah, we've got this, uh, whatever this is, just sitting in the woods. Why am I not getting things like saying, hey, you've discovered this? Okay, I can't. Perfect. This is some type of mission. Um, so we really can't do anything with this yet. I, I almost wonder if that's what... Oh no, there's a truck here too. So that's what the off-roader was. Did I drive past that? No, I came in from this direction. Okay, that's, that's okay. So we've got two watchtowers left. We will do that in the next episode. Uh, and then on top of that, we will have to figure out... Oh, we've got um, a landslide here to clear. We haven't had to do one of those in a while. That's pretty nifty. So we've got some upgrades to get in the next episode and then these two watchtowers. So yeah, I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We're going to leave it at that. Um, I'm kind of stranded off in the middle of the woods right now, but that's that's OK. We will uh, we will stop our stop our engine and save some gas for sh for sure. Uh, but we will uh, continue with this in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And uh, I look forward to uh, the next episode. Bye for now.